so we have seen uh, the use case of in and not in class in sql and we have used a lot of time this in and not in i have already post a video on in versus not in class in sql so i will recommend you to please go and watch that video so that you can uh, identify what is the difference between these two and what is the use of this in and not in class so uh, my requirement is how can you return the matching records of the past csv value from the store procedure i am passing some comma separated value to a store procedure now we have to return the records from the table which contains the matching id or matching records which i am passing as a comma separated value to the store procedure so uh, the first approach is uh, we have to get the list or the table from the csv value in that case we have to use split function so that we can split the comma separated value to table for that you can either create a separate custom function user defined function or if you are using higher version of sql server in that case they have provided in build split function so first approach if you try to use this here i am creating a store procedure get employee list and i am accepting a user ids and after accepting this value i am just passing this user id into this in class so do you think this will work because in operator requires comma separated value or any select class which returns normally a select class returns a table itself right if you try to exclude this sql statement it is com completed successfully now if you try to execute the data from uh, this store procedure i am executing the same store procedure and i am passing 593 as input parameter that is comma separated value and see the message conversion failed while converting the where care value 593 to data type int it means you cannot pass this because this is a where care type but it accepts here integer why because the id column is integer type so you cannot use this statement like this either you have to use this with split function or you have to uh, use select class so i have discussed those approach in the video of uh, in versus not in so but here we will uh, discuss with the solution which is based on the dynamic sql now i will alter the same store procedure and instead of direct placing this in the in class i will use dynamic sql here i have declared a uh, variable and in this dynamic query i am appending this user id in the in class i if you see i am passing the same thing without doing any conversion or without doing split function id in i am just appending this user id without any split function or custom user defined function to split this csv value and if i alter this store procedure command completed successfully now if you try to execute that store procedure you are getting the value it means it is very easy compared to uh, go and create a custom split function that get the csv value and then return the table data right so this is easy and straight forward which can be achieved using the dynamic sql now 
if you think about the split function so i have also uh, created a custom split function which accepts string and separator separator is nothing but the value by which you have delimited your input parameter for example here i have used comma for delimiting these input values and this string is the complete string from here to the here right if you do the same using split first you have to go and uh, define this split function and if you go here and check the code of split function then uh, programmability function table valued function and this is fn split see you have to define this custom function to split the csv value so do, do you have to do that extra thing and uh, after that you can also get the same result here i have used the in class as it is and in this each is i am using the select class well from this function this function returns the table type and i am using the id in the in class if you stood this query command completed successfully now if you try to execute that command you are getting the data Now the second thing you can also use the table valued parameter to achieve the same result. Table valued parameter is nothing but a type, a custom type which you can uh, define. And I have already posted a video on this table valued parameter or table valued type. So I will recommend you to please go and watch that video. So uh, here I am trying to create a type with id that is type uh, of integer i have created a type and uh, after creating this type i am using this type as a read only see the type and if you are defining any uh, table value type you must have to use read only keyword and in this i am passing this user id and from uh, front end, I am passing a table type to this store procedure. Since this is a table type, you can directly use select class on, over this ID that is table type, right? And if you alter this store procedure, now I am since I am uh, executing this stored procedure from this uh, uh, SQL itself, if you are using this uh, stored procedure from the .NET application, in that you can uh, create table type and pass that directly. I have explained about this in the video of table valued parameter already. I am declaring table valued parameter here and I am inserting some value into this and after that i am passing this table value parameter to this stored procedure parameter user id is equal to table value parameter right and if you skew this all together you are getting the result so these three ways you can do but in all of these the dynamic sql is simple and straightforward there is nothing to uh, do extra